Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to take these raw materials from this to this. A module base for an HO scale switching layout with some built-in storage. Should be a lot of fun, so stick around if you want to check it out. Before starting to build the module, I worked out a track plan that I liked. This is going to be a small switching layout, so I didn't need a lot of space to work with. I did, however, have some constraints on dimensions that I knew I couldn't exceed. In the end, I created a plan that will fit onto a module that's 7 feet long by 12 inches deep. Now that I knew my layout dimensions, I mocked up a design using SketchUp to figure out how much raw material I would need to purchase. I knew that I wanted to include built-in storage for this module, so I made sure to give myself enough height to work with. I ended up deciding on 1x6 common pine for the base and quarter inch plywood for the top. Next it was cutting time. I measured all the one by stock, then cut the pieces to length using my miter saw. I didn't cut the plywood pieces just yet, as I wanted to ensure I had accurate measurements to work from once the base was actually complete. I also made sure to cut some notches in some of the pieces for the wiring to pass through. To join the base pieces together, I decided to go with pocket holes as they're just a little bit stronger than a standard butt joint. My other hobby is woodworking, so I have a lot of jigs and other tools I've acquired to make things like this a piece of cake. The pocket hole jig I currently have is made by Craig, and they have a variety of them to fit your needs and budget. The jig really helps make quick work of jobs like this. Before I started joining the base pieces together, I made sure to cut a notch in one of the module's front-facing pieces. This will be a DCC powered layout, and so I wanted to make sure there was a place to mount my panel to. I already own the NCE power cab, so I picked up another PCP panel and power adapter to install into this layout. Now it was time to screw everything together. I was planning on making a sizable drawer for the storage portion of the module, so I braced that section accordingly. Once everything was screwed together, it was time to make the drawer. I used the same 1x6 material that I picked up for the base, but ripped it down to 3 inches in height. I then cut dados along the inner sides of the box so that I could slip in a piece of quarter inch plywood for the drawer bottom. I then clamped and screwed it all together using some more pocket holes. Now that I had a drawer, it was time to install the drawer slides. I put in some spacers to make aligning the height of the slide easier, and clamped a stop lock to the front just to make sure my drawer slide was flush with the front of the module. I used the same technique for attaching the drawer to the slides to ensure enough clearance when opening and closing it. I now had storage for up to 9 HO scale 40 foot rail cars. At some point I'll be adding dividers and flocking the inside of this drawer to give it a nice cushion for my rolling stock. Now that the base and drawer were assembled, I measured and cut some quarter inch plywood to use for the top of the module. I clamped the plywood to the base and then secured it with some brad nails. Alright, and that wraps up this part of this module build. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, it's nice to have some storage built right in. This is going to be the staging area of the layout. And so it'll be nice to be able to quickly take rail cars on and off the layout and then put them away and they're kept safely inside. So that'll be cool. And then next steps, I'll have to put some fascia along the side of this. Uh, there are some pocket holes showing on the sides, and I want to cover those up and make it look really nice. Uh, the fascia will be mounted right to the front of this drawer, so when it closes, everything will be nice and flush. That'll look cool. And, yeah, just uh, got to figure out what my other next steps are going to be. Probably figure out the sub-road bed, or maybe just keep it as the plywood. Haven't decided yet. But that's a project for another day. <laughs> so, uh, if you enjoyed this video, you like what you see, consider subscribing so you can catch future updates. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.